Do you like this polymer clay pendant inspired by the Constantino jewelry line? Let me show you how you can make one yourself. I suggest that you make the pendant using Pardo jewelry clay or Pardo mica clay. Then I will be using a cabochon that I made during one of my live broadcast tutorials, link in the video description below, using one of the Sculpey cabochon molds, again link in the description below. Pardo is a bit stiffer and takes micro details beautifully, after all it was created to look like precious metal clay. I am using here silver and gold that I mixed in equal proportions each with platinum, but you can use pure silver and gold pardo clay. First I am creating a satin slice using one of the Cool Tools mega tiles, again link in the video description, but you can use any texture that has fine lines. I personally prefer cool tool textures because they are created for precious metal clays, thus making the polymer clay look even more like metal. As you can see, I first used the gold clay to fill the recesses of the texture. I have run the clay on a medium thin setting on a pasta machine until I obtained the mica sheen. Then I am using a cosmetic sponge to press the clay with a roller so that the fine lines are filled with clay. I will then be using the rigid blade to shave all the clay that is not in the recesses. The cosmetic sponge prevents the clay from getting stuck on the roller and being thus lifted from the texture. You might want to go back with little bits of clay to fill tiny spots that might not have been filled. The texture I'm working on has super fine lines so that may happen. Once you are happy with your texture being properly filled, get the silver clay on a fairly thin setting. I use here a 7 on a makings machine, with the mica sheen uninterrupted by lines. Lift the gold clay using the silver clay. Run another sheet of silver clay through the machine on a medium thin setting, I used here a 6 on a makings machine, much larger than you envision your pendant to be. Put some bacon bond on the back of the capuchon and affix it on the sheet of silver clay. Next, trim your satin slice in a straight line bar. 
When calculating how wide you want your bar to be, think that it will go around the cabochon and it will determine the total size of your pendant. I suggest to not make it wider than half an inch. Place the bar around the cabochon, manipulating it gently to curb it in place. I am not going to insist much on the joint line because I will cover it with an embellishment. At this point I will transfer my piece on a piece of wax paper then on the baking tile to avoid the risk of deforming it when transferring it. To cut a pendant, I am using a teardrop cutter that matches the shape of the cabochon. If you have an irregular cabochon, you can make the cut by hand using an X-Acto knife. I will then run again a sheet of silver clay through the machine on a thin setting. I used an 8 on a makings machine. Then cut a 1 mm thin string. I usually cut several just in case I mess up. And then place the silver string around the cabochon, making sure it's flush with the cabochon all around. Add a second string around the cabochon, this time using gold clay. Then from the same thin gold clay sheet, uh, use a 4 petal flower camber cutter. Cut several flower shapes from the gold sheet.
one of the flower shapes will go on to cover the joint line. Cut then another thing from the gold sheet, this time the thickness of the string being the thickness of the pendant. That string goes all around on the edge of the pendant. Last bit, use a small bowl stylus to make the cut flowers concave and they will go on top of the pendant, one on top of the other, where the bale will be. At this point you want to bake the pendant for an hour, after which you must buff it directly to bring up the metal shine. There is no need to sand the pendant, metallic pardo shines beautifully when buffed without sanding. Last touch, drill a hole in the middle of the flowers on the top. Then use glue on a nice screw bale. I prefer the Loctite two parts. Let harden for about an hour. Your pendant is ready to be worn and it looks so good I will be placing it on a 9 to 5 sterling silver chain. The Constantino jewelry has a specific a combination of sterling silver and 18 karat gold, with the silver being the base with dramatic gold accents and adornments and many times also featuring beautiful precious gemstones. Of course it is hard to make something as delicately exquisite in polymer clay, but we can at least do something inspired by it. <laughs> 